Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Anais. I'm the open source developer advocate at Aqua Security, where I only work with Aqua's open source tools, primarily, well, which are Trivi and Tracy. Trivi is an all-in-one cloud native security scanner that we're also going to use in this video. And then we have Tracy. Tracy is a security runtime and forensic tool that uses eBPF under the hood. However, to use it, you don't have to know any low-level kernel events. You interact with Tracy in a similar way how you interact with any other Kubernetes operator. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. In this video, we're going to use Trivi, which I just introduced, I guess, <laughs> uh, Cosine and Kiverno. We are gonna build a container image. So you should know how to build container images to follow this video. You should also have um, some knowledge of Kubernetes resources to follow this video. We're gonna then use Cosine to sign our container image. We're gonna generate a vulnerability scan of that container image and generate with Cosine an attestation. Now an attestation is basically a claim. You claim, or you state, basically, that you have generated a vulnerability scan for that container image and you are the one who signed it. That's the attestation. Lastly, we're going to install Kiverno in our current Kubernetes cluster. Now, Kiverno is there to install policies. The policies regulate what can be installed, what properties do your installations need to have, whether those are specific Kubernetes uh, resources, Kubernetes flags that need to be installed as part of your workloads. Or um, in our case, we're going to check that the pods, the container images that run in pods that we install, those workloads, they need to be signed by us, by us, yeah. and <laughs> need to have the attestation. And the attestation um, has to be within a certain uh, age. If it's older than that, you can't install the container image. That's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So let's get started. Okay, as always, we have the blog post. Now, this is the unpublished version of this blog post with all of the commands, everything I'm going to do in this tutorial, more or less everything. This is a shorter version. There are additional steps that you could include, but these are the main commands, everything that we're using. Now, before we get started, you need to have Trivi installed, you have to need Cosine installed, you have to have Docker and Kiverno installed, and you need to have Kind installed or have access to another Kubernetes cluster. So we're just going to make sure we have Kind installed. Yes, we have Docker installed. We have Trivi installed trivia version. Then we have Cosine. Can I do Cosine version? Cosine installed I'm on these versions for Trivi 0 0.48.0. On Cosine I'm on 2.2.2. And then we have uh, Kiverno installed in our Kubernetes cluster. But I'm going to show you how you can install it in your Kubernetes cluster as well once we get to that step as well. Now, let's look at different tools. What are they actually? Well, Trivi is here. Here's the GitHub repository. It's a completely open source tool. We don't know who's using Trivi, why they're using Trivi, why they're using Trivi. It's completely open source. You can find the documentation here. Also, the links to the documentation that I will be using in this tutorial, that this tutorial is also based on, will also be linked below in the description. Now, then we have Cosine. Cosine is a command line utility that can sign and verify software artifacts such as container images. So we want to first go ahead and create a container image. Now I have this example repository here. Let's close everything. This is just an example website application that I'm using as part of different tutorials. We have a Docker file here and we want to build our container image. Okay. Now you can clone this repository from my GitHub. Here's the GitHub account, uh, cloud of security website, also linked below. You can clone that. And then we're going to create a, a container image of this repository. So first we need to create a container image for our application. You can use any other application. You don't have to use my example application. And first you need to specify Docker build. And then this is the image tag here, signed example. And we have moved it to 0 0.2 in the blog post it's 0 0.1. Uh, but I want to create a complete new one. And this is my Docker hub name. So replace it with your own Docker hub name. And this is just the path, the full path where Docker can find the Docker file because 
it's being a bit not to say bitchy but that's not correct to say <laughs> it's uh, throwing some errors if I don't specify it right now so this is creating the build now and then once this is done we need to push this container image to docker hub so and this is done with the docker push command and then we just specify the image name and tag to push it to docker hub now make sure you are logged into your docker hub account in this case you could also use other container management system it doesn't have to be docker hub i'm just going to use docker hub now next thing we're going to use cosine and we're going to generate a new cap key pair so if we look at my current directory there is no there are no keys so we're going to use cosine cosine generate dash key dash pair to generate a new key pair generate key pair did you mean generate key pair yes i meant generate key pair um <laughs> don't know <laughs> what's going on today the one time i want to record so you provide a password you enter the password again And then you have in your directory, you now have a cosine key. This is your private key. Do not share it with everybody. No, with anybody. Not everybody and everybody. Anyway. Um, and then cosine pub is your public key. You can share the public key. Now the private key, the dot key pair, is now going to be used to sign our container image. Now for the container image to sign it, we need the digest, the share of that container image going on today here's the container image that we have and here's 0 0.2 and this is the hash now the hash is the same for all of the previous ones as well but we want to use later the 0 0.2 tag so anyway we're just going to use this sham and we are now gonna basically One second. We are now going to use cosine to sign this container image here. So it's cosine sign and then the key we provide. This is our private key that we just generated. And then it's the full Docker Hub, Docker um, repository registry handle. And then your Docker Hub ID and the image name. And then add that hash. Okay. And then we're going to provide again our password and we add this and now we have signed it and the signature is pushed to that image name. That's where it's going to be pushed. It's, it lives basically as part of that image on Docker Hub now. Next with Trivi, we're going to run a vulnerability scan of that container image. We're going to say Trivi image for container image scanning. Ignore unfixed, so we only see vulnerabilities that already have a fix available. The format is going to be cosine-vuln and the output is going to be a vuln.json file. And here's again our Docker Hub, uh, our Docker Hub ID, then the container image name and the um, container image digest. And we're just going to run that vulnerability scan with Trivi. And then we can output the vuln.json file. And this is our vulnerability JSON file. Now, once we have done that, um, we can create an attestation with Cosine as well. Now, what's the Cosine attestation? The Cosine attestation basically says, here, we have this key. This is the same key that we used to sign our container image. The key and then we have to type vulnerability and then we have a predicate which is the vulnerability.json file and we want to say here is the vulnerability scan for this container image and we've signed it as well the same person who generated this container image also generated a scan and it's all signed by us that's basically what the attestation says it's a claim um, now then we specify our password again and we have generated our attestation and it's going to be pushed to Docker Hub as well. So entry created. Yeah. 
Anyway, this is all available now on Docker Hub. Now we can verify that our container image actually has an attestation or that any container image has an attestation. And you can verify that with the Cosine public key. So we say Cosine verify attestation. This is the key that we want to use to verify it because this public key is linked to the private key that we used before to sign the attestation. And the public key you can give anybody and be like, here, try out or, at, or verify the attestation on my container image, on my resource on whatever artifact it is. And we get here the verification. Uh, these are the checks that have been performed on that container image. Now this is what happens there basically. Now we can look actually at the cosine, um, the public key. This is the public key. And we will need this public key in a second because basically now we need a Kubernetes cluster. I likely already have here a OneNote uh, Kubernetes cluster. And on this Kubernetes cluster, we need to install Kiverno. Kiverno is a policy agent. Let's look here at Kiverno, Kiverno policies um, about. So Kiverno is a policy engine designed for Kubernetes with lots and lots of different Kubernetes uh, policies that are written as YAML manifests that you can add to Kiverno. Now, if you had to the documentation, here are the installation instructions. There's the installation, installing installation methods. So here, how you can install it with the Helm chart. Now, if you use the Helm chart before you install the policies Helm chart for advanced policies as needed, you actually just need to install the Kiviano Helm chart. So it's just gonna call it Kiviano, Kiviano. This is how you install the Helm chart inside of your cluster. Now a tutorial on how this is done is also linked below, uh, a full tutorial on Kiviano with the different steps. So we already have Kiverno in our cluster installed. Here's Kiverno running with the admission controller, um, running inside of my cluster. That's basically all that's running there. And now we want to install a policy. Now we have here a policy. This is my policy. So everybody can see it. This is my policy that I'm going to install my cluster. This is a, just a Kiverno policy. And um, we basically want to enforce this policy. So if this policy is not met, if this is not correct, what we install is if what we install is not part of this, like oblique now, um, following this policy, then it can't be installed. That's what enforce says. But you can also check out the blog post for it for more details. Um, now, the important part here is that this is the rule that we want to enforce for all resources that are parts, all part resources that might be installed in our cluster. Now, the image reference is a star, so it checks all of the parts that we want to install. And all of the parts need an attestation. And the attestation basically should not be older than one hour. So if you've generated the attestation over one hour ago, then this should fail, right? Now, the attester, this is where we say, hey, this attestation has to be generated by the attester with the following key pair, with the following um, pub private key that meets this public key, right? So we're gonna set up this our public key. This is the public key that we've used to generate this attestation and to sign that container image that we want to install as well. And this is basically the policy that we now want to install. It's a policy.yaml file. So we can add that to our cluster, kubectl, uh, apply, apply file, and then we add the policy.yaml manifest. We add that to our cluster. And now that we've added it, we can try to install a container image that does not meet our specification. So here we're gonna try to install this CNS website container image. Now this should fail because this CNS website does not have an attestation that we've generated with this new public key pair and that's not older than one hour. So Kiverno should block this now. Okay, Kiverno is blocking it, but primarily because um, comparing the public key, uh, this is what it expected, but it got a certificate. So this is not okay to be installed inside of the cluster. Now, next, we can try to actually install our new container image where we've just generated um, everything for it. But we 
need here we need the darker so okay we're gonna try to run this inside of our cluster this part and the policy should allow it and a policy allowed this image to be generated and run inside of our cluster so we can now see here the running part app signed that's running in our cluster and uh, this is how the policy works. It's basically an admission controller. What is allowed to run in your cluster? What is not allowed in to run inside of your cluster? And this is the full tutorial. Now, head over to Kibana as well and check out the different policies that they have available here. It's, once it's loading, it's actually, it's a vast number of different policies that you have, for example, for jobs, for ingress, for, to enforce specific labels, right? I have to scroll up now. <laughs> so there are lots and lots of different policies that you can install in a Kubernetes right inside of your Kubernetes cluster. As always, this is it for this tutorial, for this video. All of the resources used are linked below in the description of this video, so do check them out. Also linked below is the blog post for this video. Now this tutorial would not have been possible without one of our trivia community members, Uni. I hope I pronounced your name right. Uh, based on your Slack comments, Slack questions, we were able to put this tutorial together with your help. Thank you so much for contributing. If you, as in like you, the people who are watching this YouTube video, have any ideas for future tutorials, any suggestions, please comment below. Let me know what kind of tutorials you would like to see next. Now, as always, these tutorials take a long time to produce. So please, if you enjoyed this, maybe share it on your own social media. Give this tutorial on YouTube a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for upcoming tutorials. I really hope to see you next time. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.